fingers and toes. Pretty seamless. This is the first day of the rest of your after. Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Movie Social. I'm your host, Ricky. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the Amazon Prime series, Upload, which stars Robbie Amell and Andy Allo. The series is basically about a guy who has a decision to make of whether or not to have his afterlife be uploaded or to basically have it the normal way that we're all accustomed to. And so in this series, the lead Robbie Mill, who plays as Nathan Brown, is killed, possibly. We still don't know that for sure. If he if it's an accident or actual murder. But he dies. He's uploaded. Which his girlfriend controls his account because somebody has to pay for it. It's a big money making concept apparently. And Andy, who plays Nora, his angel folk, which the angels are basically like Alexa and all that good old stuff, assistants and slash customer service reps in the uh, virtual world where everybody's uploaded to. And so it's they develop some kind of a relationship, be it friendship or romantic. I'll let you guys decide. It's kind of an interesting take, especially given Robbie's kind of a humorous approach and Andy's uh, kind of nice and pleasurable uh, charm for the most part. It's interesting. The concept itself reminded me a little bit of Netflix's uh, Arthur Carbon, where uh, on there you don't necessarily mm -hmm. die. You, as long as your stack is intact, they resleeve you into another body and you carry on from there. So, yeah, kind of similar. So the shows are uh, thirty-minute episodes, ten minutes long each. I'm sorry, 10 episodes total. If you haven't watched it yet, you should watch it. It shouldn't be that long for you to get through. If you can sit through our episodes of, say, 12 to 24 shows, you should be able to sit through this, no problem, one day. I did. It's very entertaining, though. Um, you might have seen Robbie and Mel in other shows, like quite a few CW shows. Uh, even in the movie Code 8 and other things recently. But, yeah, this is really good. And he has been in Chicago Fire, which I like as well. But, I won't basically give away anything in the show. I'm just going to say it was a really interesting show. A few takeaways, though, that I would have to say I'm kind of uh, cautious on. Netflix, uh, Amazon. Why? If the show is listed as a 4K show, why is only a few episodes in 4K and not the whole series? Come on. Why not put the whole series in 4K? You guys do this quite a bit on shows. It's kind of annoying. And what is up with the rating system inside the show? Literally, inside the show. The aims are rated. Y'all have to stop with the rating of every single thing life does not need to be rated for everything anyway I'm giving this show a 8 out of 5 I'm sorry not 8 out of 5 but 8.5 out of 10 so definitely go watch the show stick around for my next set of a uh, series we're also going to be doing a recommendation series on what to watch since we're all stuck in the house still for who knows how long but thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe and also turn on your notifications for more thank you guys